Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. Just gonna turn the camera just a little bit. We're gonna do uh, your love reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Details regarding personal readings, details how to win a free personal reading. So with that, let's get started, Capricorn. Let's see uh, who is Capricorn connecting with? What's the energy here in love for Capricorn? Okay, so we've got the High Priestess. The letters B or J may be important to you. We have the King of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, very, very interesting. Put that Knight of Wands there. Got the Nine of Swords here too. I feel like Capricorn... <clears throat> There is someone I feel could be a fire sign or an air sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could be a Cancerian or a Pisces. But I feel like there is someone that you haven't gotten a whole lot of clarity from. It does feel like this is someone who's been very inconsistent with you. It could be someone hot and cold. It could be someone in and out of your life here. I feel like... There is distance here between you and someone. Now, could be long distance. The two of you may live apart or energetically. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> I do see somebody worried here. Okay, somebody's worried. Somebody's uh, thinking a lot here. Up at night thinking, what else can you share with Capricorn? What else can you share with Capricorn here? Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Got the Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands. Yeah, look at this. Um, I feel like you are struggling with a situation with someone, okay? We got the High Priestess and we have the Ten of Cups. I feel like you just, you just don't know if there's going to be that happily ever after type of energy. Some of you, it could be someone maybe you're wanting to reconcile with. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're questioning, is this going to be my forever person is really what I'm getting here. Now you have uh, the King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. I see you Capricorn weighing your options here. Okay. Um, maybe trying to get some clarity. Some of you may be feeling like, um, again, this is someone like on and off, hot and cold, you know, it's a very unbalanced energy. And then I see the Eight of Cups and we see the Six of Swords, okay? I feel like, Capricorn, you're just not feeling satisfied where things are at, I feel, between you and someone. And I feel like you're at the point here of making a decision of whether to, you know, just once and for all walk away from a connection here. You got the Knight of Wands and you have the Page of Wands. What's interesting here, I, I do pick up two energies um, if two, uh, I feel like there could be a new love or there could be communication here. We're going to clarify. And this Knight of Wands, I'm sensing, um, you know, could just indicate that this is someone. They're very casual, okay? They could even, I'm just going to say, it could even be a player or they act that way. They like attention. I feel like, um, you know, you got the uh, five of wands here. Okay. There could be um, other people involved here or someone interfering in this connection. Let's keep going. I'm going to pull four more cards and then we'll clarify what's needed. Thank you, spirit and angels for your guidance. What can you share with Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. We've got the star card, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Page of Pentacles. So interesting. Two pages here. Oh, some of you may have a decision in love. We got uh, the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay. And Judgment. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> I feel like Capricorn, this is someone you feel that there is something about this connection. I feel like you know, maybe you feel like it's faded, okay? This maybe is the the person that you have hoped that things could work out here. 
but I definitely see an unbalance here, an energy of feeling disappointed, okay, maybe walking away, not getting the clarity um, that you deserve here is what I'm really sensing. And then you got the Page of Pentacles. I see some sort of message, okay? Now, this also can talk about you taking the step here, making the decision here. Um, you know, we got the Page of Wands here too. So you got the Nine of Swords. Okay, so somebody here is really doing a lot of thinking. There's a decision. Okay, so it could be you or your person here. And I feel like there's two energies. You've got judgment. So you're going to have to make some sort of judgment call. I do feel like uh, one of these people is somebody here from your past. You do have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there's some upcoming messages here. And I do feel like there is someone here that you know that you are making some sort of decision. It feels like there's been some distance, okay? Either energetically or they live at a distance. So let's do some clarifying here. Tell me more about this high priestess. Tell me more about this high priestess. Look at that. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I feel like this person, this is someone who... They don't give you a lot of clarity, okay? This is someone I feel they kind of just, you know, they come around when they want attention is the energy that I'm really feeling here. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords. It's also a very detached energy. Someone who detaches emotionally. That's why they're hot. Oh my gosh, look at that. The High Priestess. Yeah, they don't give you clarity, and it's ex this exact energy that I was feeling here, okay? I do, you know, look at that, the Ace of Wands. So it feels like what, what they're not uh, showing you here, okay? You have no clue where you stand, I feel. And look, look what the next card is, the King of Swords again. So I feel like you don't have a clue where you stand with this person. Is this, is there potential for growth for a relationship? Is this stable, okay? I feel like this person, um, typically the King of Swords is a good communicator, but with this High Priestess, I feel like this is someone who is not really communicating, not really, you know, telling you what the potential is here, okay? And I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. This is where it leads you to some sort of decision. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Should I, should I stay? Should I go? Type of energy is what I'm feeling here because I feel like with the seven of wands, you may be feeling something is blocking this connection between the two of you, or you just feel like there's been so many challenges, uh, Aquarius energy. So I feel like that's the decision here, uh, Capricorn. Now it could be again, cause you have judgment. It could be because there's a message here. Some of you, this could be a rekindle of love. Um, we'll see here. Let's see why this page of pentacles is. This potentially could be a message. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. Why is the page of pentacles here? Okay, we got the hangman. Oh my god, an emperor. Okay, interesting. And we have judgment. All right, yeah, judgment again. This is your energy too, okay? I feel like you may be taking um, a step, okay, towards new love here is what I'm getting. Um, I'm also seeing the letter M or W. I said BJ, M or W. But we have uh, the hangman and the emperor. We got Aries energy here. You may be getting a message from this person. Could be this emperor energy. Uh, this is definitely someone who who is very like disciplined, self-controlled. Could be someone who uh, works a lot, owns their own business. But I feel like this feels like someone who has kept you in limbo. But I see a message here. There could be some sort of epiphany or realization here with this uh, hangman. So let's clarify that. Tell me more about this hangman tell me more about this hangman 
And I'm going to say this could also be an indication of a new love because I see uh, someone walking away. Okay, I see um, the Page of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles. So tell me more about this hangman. Three of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, this is building a foundation, okay, but I also see three people here. This could be someone who's keeping you in a, th a third party situation or a triangle situation, not giving a whole lot here, okay? Could be you, could be somebody else, you know, taking how it resonates. I'm going to clarify this page of wands. Tell me more about this page of wands. Ten of Pentacles. Oops. We got the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. And the Seven of Pentacles. And then you also have here the Two of Wands. Okay. I feel like Capricorn, um, There is someone I feel that you're dealing with here. They're showing up as this page of wands, okay? I feel like this is the same person. I feel like this is all the same person, basically, but I feel like you're trying to make a decision here, okay, about new love. Now, maybe some of you, a new, a new love person has come in. That could be what I'm seeing. Three people here taking back your control from, you know, a situation being in limbo, taking that step towards new love. You know, that's the decision here, I feel, with the two of wands. But what I'm getting here with this page of wands is that um, this is a very casual energy, okay? This could be a very casual energy, someone who just comes around for the intimacy, the attention is what I'm picking up there. And then we have uh, this energy, which shows me, I feel like you've invested some time with this person, but this person is holding back from making um, a long-term commitment is what I'm seeing here. And that's what I feel like you feel disappointed and that's what makes you feel that you wanna move on from this energy. Let's see why the Nine of Swords is. Your person's worried about something. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Tell me more about, all right, this Nine of Swords. Okay, we got the Chariot. Yeah, I feel like there's a third party involved here, Capricorn. We got the Five of Swords and we have the Chariot, but um, it doesn't have to be. I feel like this is someone who has played some games or there is a third party, and that's why things have not moved forward because it's also showing me here with the Five of Pentacles, okay? So there's lack of movement forward with this person because this person, right, either they're a player, I'm feeling, or this is someone who is holding back from commitment. Tell me more about um, this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Okay, we got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Knight of Cups, and the World card, and the Ten of Cups. Well, interesting. Now, it's interesting because this person showed up as the Knight of Wands. Now, you could have another fire sign coming in here because you have the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, and the World. This, gosh, this is very confusing here, Capricorn. Somebody who has held back from commitment. However, they still want the romantic opportunity with you. They could live at a distance or they've just been distant. Some of you, I feel like this is a new love energy. Okay, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. And then we're going to pull some Oracles. Page of Swords. Six of Swords. Nine of Cups. No, this is a new love because look what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Fool card. Capricorn, and that's why we're seeing this Ace of Cups here, and you like weigh your options here. Should I walk away from this other connection? Could be an Aquarius, a Taurus. For the new love energy, I'm getting Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, 
Pisces, Cancerian. Okay. There is someone I feel with this page of swords that is very curious about you. Okay. And I had already said that I feel like some of you, this could be a new love around you already. And we have the nine of cups. I feel like either you met this person already um, at some sort of party or social event or just somewhere where like you can have fun, you can be happy. Uh, this There's someone I feel, they're, um, I feel very curious. They're coming towards you. That's why the Ace of Cups is here. You're going to have to make a decision. And I feel like there's this other person who has played games. They haven't really been consistent with you. Let's see what the love oracles have to say. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Capricorn? And then I'm going to pull some hidden truths for this other person that I see. What else can you share it with Capricorn and love? Okay, look at that. We got relationship. We have love offer, proposal. Oh boy. And we have addiction. That's on the bottom of the deck. And we have date. And we have anxiety here. Yeah. Well. I feel like this is someone you see yourself, either you did or you do now, see yourself in a relationship with this person, okay? I feel like you're hoping for, you know, that commitment from this person. Like I said, they've held back. You do have addiction and there could be, you know, there could be something toxic here about this connection um, or there could, you know, be an actual uh, physical addiction, but you've got date here too. That's why judgment is here. You're going to hear from this other person is what I'm really getting here. I, it, But I also feel here you've got anxiety. Now, you could be dealing with someone who has addictions, okay? And that could be because they're very, uh, you know, an anxious person is what I'm getting here. Yeah, look at that. you got liquid courage too. So this could be someone who drinks, okay? Or they contact you when they're drinking type of energy. Um, tell me more about this relationship. Tell me more about relationship. Okay, yeah, they go, they ghost. Yeah, this person ghosts because they don't want to commit. Tell me about this uh, love offer. Home. Travel. Okay, yeah. This I feel what spirits showing you, uh, Capricorn. This person doesn't make you feel safe and secure because they're inconsistent, they ghost. Um, this could be someone who makes you feel rejected or ignored, um, but they they keep distance, okay, from you is what I get here. Okay, you got healing. It's because this person needs to do some healing. Now, some of you, it, this could be you needing to heal from this situation, but again, the crossroads energy is showing up. So I feel like Capricorn, you're going to have to make a decision here, but I do feel like there is a new opportunity. If you want to close out uh, this cycle with this person, this does feel like somebody who um, you could be repeating a pattern with. This could be a karmic relationship. So let's see what the hidden truths are from this person. What's the hidden truths here for Capricorn? Okay, my life is not together as it seems. I don't react when people mention you. That's because this person um, does not like to be vulnerable. We already talked about that earlier. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Now, you may have met this person when you were going through something very difficult. Um, they, I'm just going to say they may have, how should I say, took advantage of that, okay? Knowing that you were going through a difficult time, maybe you weren't... You weren't thinking as clearly. Um, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Well, this person still thinks about you. I feel like there is some sort of a toxic attachment here, okay? doesn't mean that you're toxic. 
Um, but it just could be that this person, there's something about this person, right, that we talked about. They don't want to let you go, but they don't want to make the commitment either. And you also have you came closer than anyone. So I feel like Capricorn, you got someone here who I feel like you could keep repeating a cycle with this person. Um, and I feel like the universe is bringing somebody new here into your life. What else can you share with Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Okay, yeah, we got sadness here. Disappointment. Mmm, I got the cat. We got jealousy and gossip. Interesting. There could be someone around you, person. Remember I said some of you, there could be a third party. We have anchor. We have security and stability. And we have strength. Bottom of the deck here, we got moose and fish. Okay, so what this is saying, uh, Capricorn. I feel like they're telling you, you need to accept the situation for what it is. Okay, be strong here. Okay, if there is a third party situation, there's some jealousy going on here. Okay, or there's someone around your person that is jealous because you may be in this person's life. But you got the moose and you got the fish here. This is accepting the situation for what it is and you have abundance and luck. There's something changing. You got uh, stability and growth and you also have here news. There's some sort of good news coming your way and you also have old man, but I'm gonna say it may be that there is someone coming into your life, like I said here, someone who's more stable, Someone who could be older than you, whether it's male or, or female, but the, it's a mature energy. And then you have the key. This is really about you holding the key and making a decision here, Capricorn. So Capricorn, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.